Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have something a little bit different for you. Around this time of the month, I would usually be uploading a favorites video, which includes everything that I've been loving throughout the past month. But to be completely honest with you guys, this July, I haven't really found anything that I've totally re-fallen in love with. I've definitely just been sticking to lots of basics. So I didn't really have enough stuff to make a favorites video, but I didn't want to totally skip over it. So I figured I would come to you guys with a flashback favorites video. If you've never heard of these videos, it's basically just looking back to this month, last year's favorites video. So I'm going to be looking at July 2016's favorites video, pulling out those same products that I talked about and seeing if I still like them and telling you guys how I feel about them. I've seen a couple of these on YouTube. I've seen Makeup by Amy Michelle and Beauty by Emily Fox do them here. I will have them linked down below. I'm not really sure who created it, but I just think it's such a fun and awesome idea. And I figured I would get this out there for you guys because I don't have any July 2017 favorites. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this idea. I think it'll be super fun and let's just get on into it. So the first one of my favorites in that video was the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Prance. This is a really pretty baby blue shade shade. I really do enjoy this liner still. I don't reach for it as much as I did. I definitely think that this was included in my favorites because it was a newer product of mine and I really loved it and it was definitely something I used a ton last summer. I haven't played around with this much in a while to be completely honest with you guys but I still think that it is really good. I think it's a super pigmented bright blue liner. It is stunning in the waterline and I definitely do like to use this occasionally if I want just that pop of colors. Would it be something that I'd put in my favorites video now? Probably not, especially because another con that I figured out literally the con that I was going to talk about happened. So what I was going to say is that when I started using this eyeliner a lot more, it kind of just kept breaking off into bits and pieces. Like there's still a lot of product in here, but little bits and pieces kept breaking off, especially when I'd put it in my waterline. It kept breaking. I just think that since I was using this so much, I kind of did a little bit of wear and tear on the product. So that has to be really my only complaint about it, but it's definitely not something I hate. I see why I mentioned it in my last year's favorites, and I will definitely continue to use this. The next thing that I mentioned in my July 2016 favorites was the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Do you guys remember when this was like all the rage on YouTube when Nikki Tutorials like discovered the best thing that could ever happened to the beauty community. I feel like the hype on this has really died down. I still do enjoy this product. Um, I found other primers that I just prefer, so no, it's not like my favorite thing in the world. I definitely still do enjoy it. I haven't heard the greatest things about it lately. I have heard that it kind of clogs your pores. It's not amazing for your skin, but I do definitely see why I love this and I, why I still really do like it. It definitely gives a really nice and tacky base to your makeup. For me personally, it's definitely not pore filling or smoothing. I still go over top of it with a little bit of the e.l.f. or Smashbox smoothing primers, but this is definitely a really good tacky base, and when I want my makeup to last a really, really, really long time, I will reach for this. It is really good. I definitely see why I mentioned it. Like I said, it just provides such an awesome tacky base for your foundation to really cling on to and stay, but I have been straying away from it for reasons that I've heard that it just clogs your pores and something like that. This is something I still do really like, but I only will reach for it once in a while now. Nowadays. I really love the idea of this video because I honestly totally forgot I had this recently and when I was watching my old video which oh my god wait we need to talk about that old video for a second I'm gonna insert a little clip of it right here I'm just gonna insert my intro because I was so awkward and before I start I was wearing my pajama shirt in this video because I was way too lazy to find a proper shirt to put on so I literally wore my pajama shirt in this video just look. Hey guys, for today's video, I have my July favorites video. This I was so I've been awkward. Out and using pretty much the whole month, almost on a daily basis. So I feel like like now in my videos, my real personality comes out so much more, and I feel like I'm so much more comfortable in front of the camera. Watching videos like that, I really was like, oh my gosh, I was so uncomfortable. Like. I just, I know I come a long way, so again, that's another reason why I really am enjoying filming this video right now, is just to see how far I come and how much more comfortable I am with doing YouTube in general and stuff like that. And also, for the fact of discovering old products, I definitely highly recommend doing this video if you haven't already for any month that you have a favorite. I think it's really fun to do. The next product I don't have with me because I finished it up, it is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. You guys know if you've been watching me for a while that I went through a total phase where I was so in love with that mascara. 
I don't have it because like I said I'm on to a different mascara and I finished that one up I did really like that mascara as I mentioned it was super good for my short lashes it really gave them a nice curl some nice length but I have found a mascara that I love better so I haven't gone out and repurchased my covergirl clump crusher when it was like that time last year I did repurchase like three or four because I love them so much but right now I'm currently using my essence lash princess and I just love it way more so I don't think that my clump crusher is something I'll be repurchasing but I can definitely see why I had it in my favorites video last year another one of my favorites in July of 2016 was the wet and wild photo focus um, that's the French side hold on <laughs> the wet and wild photo focus setting spray this is supposed to give you all day wear and it's a super inexpensive setting spray to be honest I really like this at the time because I hadn't really dipped my toes into setting sprays that much this was my first setting spray I believe so at the time this was super like life-changing to me I was like I love setting spray like this is so good I mean I use a lot of it it's pretty empty um I don't love the smell this smells like a mixture of chemicals and baby wipes to be completely honest it's not the most pleasant smell looking back this did give me a little bit more of a tacky sticky feeling on top of my makeup um, the spray was a little bit soaking but like I said it was my first setting spray so I did really love it at the time and get a lot of use out of it but right now it's not necessarily my favorite I do love the all-nighter a lot more and I absolutely love my fix plus so much better like I even just sprayed it on my arm and to the touch it's actually sticky and I don't like that I like my setting spray to dry down smooth if I'm gonna put anything sticky on my face I want it to be under my makeup to really hold it not on top so where it's like sticky to the touch if you guys know what I mean so this definitely wouldn't be considered a favorite of mine anymore the next product that I'm gonna be sharing with you that I loved last year is the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder before I go any further I want to mention that yes I do have two different highlighters on my face I am testing out a new highlighter I'm not sure when the video will be up but this might give you a little hint if you guys know what I mean so yeah that's why my highlighter might be looking a little crazy but I did really enjoy this I still do really like this I think the formula is awesome I think that these powders were hyped up for a good reason here's one swatch of precious petals on the back of my hand it's a stunning rose gold shade you guys know wet and wild always comes out with such good products for such an affordable price these were only $4.99 and I remember I was so happy to have my hands on these highlighters because they were so limited edition everyone had so much trouble finding them but I definitely love this for a good reason I still get a lot of use out of it and I still definitely love this highlighter in last year's favorites video I mentioned the morphe e6 foundation brush mine has been through hell and back since then but as you guys know I use it in every tutorial it is my ride or die foundation brush I really love how this just blends out all of the foundations that I put on my face I definitely reach for this over a beauty blender 99% of the time I love this with certain foundations pretty much all my foundations I use this sometimes when I'm in a rush I will go for something like the morphe m439 something a little bit bigger just to um, kind of cover more surface on my face a little bit quicker but other than that this is the brush that I've been using literally for a year straight almost on the daily and I really been enjoying it the only con is that I was washing it a little bit too aggressively and I guess water got in the handle so it kind of um, the glue loosened I guess but I just retaped it a couple times and it still works it's a really good foundation brush if you were on the hunt for a foundation foundation brush I highly recommend it this is the morphe e6 if I didn't mention that already and for the final product that I mentioned in last year's favorites video it was the Jersey Shore Spa anti-aging lip and hand polish in vanilla bean I still do really love this when I use this to exfoliate my lips it works so well it gets all the dead skin off while being super hydrating at the same time it has a lot of oils in it a lot of natural ingredients and it just makes my lips super duper soft this in combination with my rose solve my lips are so happy so smooth and so soft and any lip product goes on so nicely on top so this I'm definitely still loving and I'm definitely still using to this day and a little bit goes a long way so it really lasts a long time so like I said those those are all of my beauty favorites and my makeup favorites I'm pretty sure that I included some TV shows and music in here I don't think that I planned that part of the video when um, I was actually writing down my notes to do this video but I'm gonna actually head back on my channel to see what music and stuff I included in those favorites videos okay here it is oh my gosh I'm scared the first song that I've been absolutely loving, oh my God. I know it's kind of basic, but I've been loving One Dance by Drake. It's okay. just one of those songs that just makes me want to one dance by drake still a really good song i mean i definitely think it was super overplayed so now when i hear it i'm like meh drake has better but you know it was a good song i liked it at the time <laughs> Recently. 
Don't Mind by Kent Jones, literally the most mainstream song of summer 2016. I'm honestly not shocked that I put it in this video. Lastly for music, I've been really loving Connor Maynard. I believe his name is, I used one of his covers in my Rihanna inspired makeup look, his work cover. I do really like this cover still, but look at me drinking my coffee. So I think that officially concludes my July flashback favorites from July 2016 to now. I really hope that you guys found this video entertaining. I really loved doing it. I thought it was super fun and something different and just fun to kind of rediscover the products and look back on my video like I said. So definitely give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future favorites videos or flashback favorites that I might do. Definitely hit that little notification bell and follow all my social media so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and as always I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.